My boy, this is Jenny with an H. Happy New Year, everyone! If you're new to my channel, my name is Jenny, yes, with an H, and I am a third year occupational therapy student. Today's video is going to be about my 2021 bullet journal. The year 2020 has been really challenging and difficult and frustrating for a lot of us. However, it also built our resiliency and patience and adaptability in overcoming these challenges. We have been hit with a lot of bad news and last minute changes in OT school this year, but we have to stay positive and keep an open mind and be optimistic of what we can control and what we can do with what we have at the moment. I like this quote that was stated by Helen Keller. It says, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow. I wrote this at the beginning or the front of my bullet journal to remind me to stay positive and look at and count my blessings despite all the challenges that we have been facing. This next page is 2021 at a glance. It is the upcoming year that we are looking forward to as occupational therapy students because as a third year OT student, we are scheduled to graduate this year. I created these bullet journal stickers using my new Cricut Explorer Air 2 and they are available on my Etsy shop, Jenny Berry OT. Please check it out and support my small business. I'm looking forward to what this year would bring as, as you can see, I'm scheduling each month and putting some stickers and washi tapes that would remind me or let me know of what I'm going to be looking forward to each month. January is winter, February is Valentine's Day, March is St. Patrick's Day, April is my special friend's birthday, and we usually do something special for that month. Right now, I'm scheduled to finish all my level 2 field works in May, and I put a clock there because it reminds me that it is almost time for graduation, and hopefully by that time, we can walk and celebrate our graduation ceremony in person. I am planning to take a couple weeks break after graduation before I start studying again, so in July, I put a coffee cup there because I'm planning to start studying for about 6 to 10 weeks for the OT board exam. August is my birthday, that's why I put a birthday candle right there. After I take the board exam in August, I am hoping to get a job by September, that's why I put an important there because I'm planning to start working for my dream job as an occupational therapist. And then we have Halloween for October, Thanksgiving for November, and Christmas for December. I find it helpful to write down my goals. It gives me something to look forward to and helps me stay on track. So I will write some for school, work, and personal and some affirmations, especially during the times when I doubt myself. This next page is a year in color. I honestly have trouble being consistent with this in the past, but this year I'll try my best to reflect on what I feel during the day and manifest it through colors. I chose my favorite brush pens colors which are these pastel colors. Each color will represent what I'm feeling that day. Pink for great, yellow for good, green for meh, blue for bad, and purple for worst. And I'm hoping to see mostly pink this coming year these next couple pages will be my workout routine a lot of us usually put workout more and eat more healthier drink more water as a new year resolution and i'm guilty of that however i'm really proud of myself for staying in track with my workout routine during the summer when i was waiting for my field work placement I joined a one of 8 week transformation challenge and I was pretty proud of myself for being able to lose some weight, gain strength and confidence during the process. But with some hiccups and routine changes during my field work, I had to take a break. Despite all the negative things that we have been experiencing this past 2020, one of the positive things that I have encountered this year was I was able to connect and network with a lot of occupational therapists, practitioners, and students through the social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok even. 
I learned a lot from practitioners and students out there and I'm also inspired by their stories and journey in this occupational therapy world. I admit that there are times that my motivation levels are low and sometimes you just have to take a break, a healthy break. However, I aim and plan to continue to give back to this community and continue to create content for my social media platforms and advocate for OT. So these next couple pages are dedicated and allocated for my Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, and Etsy contents. Have I mentioned that I create my own bullet journal stickers? They are available on my Etsy shop, so please support this small business and check out my face masks and craft items and bullet journal stickers on my Etsy shop, Jenny Berry OT. This next page will be my January calendar. I'm scheduled to start my level 2B fieldwork assignment at a school-based setting and I'm really excited about it. Even though we're going to be 100% online because the cases here in Southern California for the coronavirus is skyrocketing again, I'm still excited about it because I am looking forward to working with an awesome mentor and my CI for this fieldwork assignment. He said I have set some goals for this year in the beginning of my bullet journal. However, I'm also setting some goals for January this month because for every long-term goal, you also have to have a short-term goal. And in order to achieve my health goals, I'm making myself accountable by setting these trackers. I have a tracker for movement, for physical exercise, or even just general movement during the day. I also have a tracker for water. This is a struggle for a lot of us. Although 8 glasses of water is 6 to 4 ounces, my goal right now is to drink and finish my Hydro Flask of 40 ounces of water a day. I also have a tracker for sleep because during school when I study, I usually get less than 5 hours of sleep. So my goal is to sleep at least 6 hours a day. I am not setting up my whole year's worth of bullet journal because as occupational therapists, we improvise. <laughs> so I'm going by a week per week. This first week of January is January 4th to 10th because I usually start counting on Monday and end on Sunday. I will have a page for my agenda and I will also have a page for my notes that week. So this is a flip through my bullet journal setup for the year of 2021 as well as some updates in OT school. I hope you're all staying well and safe. Please wear your face masks, maintain social distancing, wash your hands, and stay positive, everyone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or follow and chat with me on Instagram. Feel free to share my videos to your families and friends and subscribe to my channel for more updates in OT school. Salamat!